Hello YouTube, it's been a while. Well, I just had to, to uh, do a little update, show what I got going on here. This is, uh, I'm setting up my blacksmith shop out here, which I'll take to the show on the side of my trailer. This is my post spice, which is used as a, uh, man. Brain is not working right now. It's uh, just a minute. Anyway, I got a couple anvils. Here's uh, my beautiful swedge block. This one here shows very little use, which means we ought to get busy. Now, this one here is, I'm going to say, beat to death. This one here was in a, uh, had to be a shop or a factory where they were really, really getting it. And you can even see they were drilling stuff on top of it, got some holes, but, but I like it. It shows that it's got some character, been around a while. This is, uh, excuse me. And it's hard for me to there. Oh man, sorry about that. This is uh, my Peter Wright, and uh, I just got this one out here because uh, some people may uh, not appreciate what I did. But uh, this one, I like this. Now this anvil I got. And the whole face was all dented in, beat up, chipped out. So it was like it's completely unusable. And uh, this one was uh, uh, something I started uh, years ago. And I finished it up. This one's, uh, I, I welded stainless. Which I probably put about, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. Maybe up to a half-inch uh, layer. A stainless and uh, now stainless is softer than mild steel which is softer than your tool face but one thing about stainless it work hardens if you don't hit it and dent it like I was uh, beating some metal believe it or not those aren't hammer marks those are are the actual mild steel had them on the corner here kind of straighten stuff out and uh, but over here in the center, uh, I'm sure it's starting to get hard now. Stainless has a, a really weird characteristic that it work hardens, and I mean it work hardens. You can uh, keep beating it, and it will get glass hard. But it, it this it doesn't matter to me because uh, if it gets too bad, I can just I just weld it up and fix it. Here's a. This is actually a. Um, I think years back that uh, Harbor Freight sold this, you can see it's got some bad uh, casting uh, flaws, shall we say, the corners. This side here wasn't so bad. This side over here was bad all the way down. So what I did was, was I welded it up, I, I think I used 7018 on it, and whatever material this, this is right here, this stuff just doesn't want to weld. I must have went over it like five or six times. Weld it up, grind it down, weld it up, grind it down. Slowly got most of the porosity. It's a little bit here and here. But it's kind of cool. It's, I mean, it may be an anvil shaped object, but still looks cool. And uh, of course I got my cone mandrel out here. You. Uh, you don't have to have a cone mandrel. Nice to have a cone mandrel. It's not a, a highly used uh, piece in your in your blacksmith shop, but it does look cool. Uh, I guess today with ring rollers and and, and different things, it's, it's uh, kind of an obsolete tool. Which it, all these are. But anyway, got my. Uh, forge 
This is the third forge that I built. It's got a rather large uh, firebox, and that's the way I made it uh, with holes, not slots. Uh, it it uh, seems works pretty good. Uh, of course, it's hand operated, but uh, I really built a really large uh, Tuyor. Tuyor. Your air in, that's three and a half inch skid 40, because I figured uh, what you want is you don't want vo uh, pressure, you want volume. So we get a lot of volume in here. My little slack tub that I built was set up here. And of course, uh, that's what I call these, my little outriggers. I got a pulse vise for the outriggers and uh, put one at each corner of the trailer so we got four around here actually only got three right now the uh, other one is waiting patiently I don't know if you can see it but uh, I did uh, put my pedestal uh, bench grinder buffer wire brush here and we drilled in and put it down and everything and then I decided nah I can't put it here the, the stone which is right here will be right next to the pulley uh, for the blower so what I think we're gonna do we're gonna take this and move it over here on this side there's plenty of room we'll get it in there and uh, do something else you know, all this stuff is, is, uh, you get her done the best you can and you check it out and then you go and redo it and, uh, adjust it. I, I, I did, uh, move my line shaft. The line shaft, uh, I had it sticking out that end of the trailer. But because I got the grinder down here and the uh, blower, I decided that I really needed uh, more room up here on this end because it did stop at that hanger. I guess that's the hanger. And now I got it out. I went and put, took the hanger down the other end and put it out here. So uh, we'll see how that works out. It, it, I think it will. And... Uh, we're getting close, man. I'll tell you, I'm trying to get this thing all ready to go for a uh, first time show. I'll be taking it out. It's not going to be finished. It's not going to be running. But I'm, I uh, plan on uh, uh, doing a little blacksmithing out there at the show. I'll do a little bit. And uh, unfortunately, my line shaft won't be running. But, one thing or another, I'm getting older. I've probably only got 10 or 15 good years left. So I need to uh, get out there and show what I got. Well, you guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.